Good afternoon. Welcome to a new collaboration. Um, I'm excited to bring this to you. This, um, you remember last month I did a collaboration with um, Rianne at Rianne Warlow and we did uh, the Guilty Pleasures. We've got a new member and that is at what Julie loves. So I'll insert photos of both ladies and we are called, do 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 do, drum roll that was, <laughs> three of a kind. And our aim is to bring you a video once a month. Uh, it'll be the first Saturday of every month um, and we'll choose a different theme every time um, and uh, we'll all put our own spin on it. Um, so I'm really excited to be doing this and uh, like both like the three of us we formed a whatsapp group and we've been chatting and it's amazing once you start chatting how similar you are to other people because you just see them on screen and uh, but we've really we've really gelled so uh, I'm excited to see where this all takes us so the theme we chose this month is room 101 so uh, there's five things that we will put in room 101 and I'm going to be dead excited to see what they've been putting. Um, you know, you feel like, so what did you say, what did you say, but it wouldn't, it, it, that, that's what will be more exciting, seeing what they've said. Um, so I've got a list and I'm just going to randomly pick off the list. Um, at first I th found it quite hard because I thought, Nothing really gets on my nerves that much um, to put in a room. And you know, I didn't even know what room 101 was, um, but I've been watching it on YouTube and I absolutely find it so funny. Um, I'm slightly addicted to it. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how the three of us go, but three of a kind, it, it just sounds perfect for us um, because the more we chat, the more we find out we are all similar so uh, we're all ladies of a certain age um, we all like the same things we've all got the same hang-ups um, you know so it's brilliant just brilliant so without further ado this video can't go on any longer than 15 minutes we've decided to keep it to 15 minutes so um, I best get on right let's see when you go out for something to eat, calories on menus. That's the one thing that gets on my nerves. Uh, I don't want to know what's in. I, I know fish and chips is still not 150 calories. I know um, cheesecake still isn't one of your five a day, no matter what fruits on it. So I don't want to see the calories. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going out to enjoy my food and have a dessert if I've still got room and um yeah i, I don't want to see it because <laughs> it just makes you feel guilty doesn't it you know um i know some people it does help them it doesn't help me i don't want to see it i know i mean we're not we've not got to this age and we're a bit delusional that we we see um i don't know um a steak and onion pie or with, with veg or whatever we know that the pastry is not healthy so um you know please let us just go out and enjoy so i'm gonna put menus with calories in as my first one <laughs> right people who park in child spaces we all know we've all seen it haven't we so like you're sat in the car driving round and round looking for a parking space and then somebody just pulls not that we pull in because we haven't got kids in the car um but they pull into child spaces and like my daughter-in-law they and son they've got a two-year-old so like it's important to them to get these child spaces um and then um just you see one person pull into a child space and out they could get out the car and just go wandering off not a child in sight um, so I, I never think that's good. I think it's just pure laziness that they haven't drove around and looked for a parking spot. So um, yeah, I don't think that's good. So 
Um, for me, I would put um, people who park in child spaces in room 101. <laughs> right. Premier Inns. <laughs> if you've ever stayed in a Premier Inn and you have a shower, why on earth is the shower thing by the shower head? You know, I mean, you're trying to, like, especially if you've not got to wash your hair, and you're sort of trying to put um, the soap on the sponge without getting your hair wet. I mean, who's thought of that? You want the shower thing, the shower gel down this end where you haven't got to, um, you know, sort of do, um, what's that? Where they do, um, they go under the bar, you know. <laughs> I can't even think of it. And then they lower the bar that that's what it feels like when you're trying to get shower gel out of the uh the premier in holders on the wall near the shower head so i think for me number three i would stick that in a in room 101 i always think i don't know who's come up with that idea um it's, it's just not ideal so that's my number three to go in the room 101 <laughs> So that's that one. Um, people who vape. <laughs> yes, if you want to vape, that's fair enough. But do we all have to do it? I, I think for me, there's nothing worse than walking behind somebody and like the, the smoke or whatever it is coming out, the vapes going in your face or your eyes. I mean, when we came, when we went to Manchester to see the food fighters, we like we, it was a bit of a walk to the car, and so like you can imagine the crowds coming out um, all at the same time, and like they're vaping going down the road, and oh, it's just in your face, it really is, and like when they sat in front here as well, and they've got a vape, and all that's bellowing in your face and you just think for god's sake can you not be a bit considerate you know you if you want to vape that's up to you but i don't want to do it i don't choose to do it and and school kids you know um i know there's somewhere where i drop a pa drop parcels off of a morning and uh, the kids are on the way to school and they've all got vapes i mean why you know I just don't get it, I don't see the attraction and to me, you know, it, it, it's just, they, they don't know what damage it's going to be uh, causing, um, no doubt that will come in years to come like everything, um, obviously people enjoy vaping but uh, it'll be further on down the line won't it, when we find out what damage it's done so, you know, that's that. So put the vapes or in the uh, room 101 <laughs> and remember who's behind you ladies men everybody there's somebody behind you and they don't want to do it so please be considerate oh and when we was at girls allowed in the and it's it's well it, i don't know what it's called now it's the nac birmingham i'll always know it as that um people was vaping inside and i just find it so out of order you know it's just not on why do they like it i don't know and i'm sorry if it upsets anybody um you know you do you i'll do me <laughs> but it's not for me and I, I wouldn't inflict anything i like on other people so um that's that one so that was number four vapes carrier bag charge <laughs> Oh dear, this is one that annoys me. Um, I can see in supermarkets, you know, not to be giving carrier bags out willy-nilly, um, you know, take all your bags for life in. But, you know, when you've been in a shop and you've spent, I don't know, quite a bit, and they say, would you like a bag? And if you say, yes, please, that'd be 25 pence. Well, you've just spent a hundred pound and they can't even give you a carrier bag and you're doing their bit of advertising um I, I do find that so wrong um 
you know it, it just grieves me and you don't always want to stuff your purchases in your own bag do you really you know it's like you're shoplifting but work the way you're stuffing it in <laughs> even though you've just paid for it but um i mean i used to use my carrier bags as bin liners so um i'm struggling for bin liners now <laughs> but no i do find the carrier bag charge i mean it, it, it's just so wrong for me i mean when it first came out um paper carrier bags were supposed to be free wasn't they um but now you have to pay for those as well so um i think in clothes shops and things like that um you know you shouldn't have to pay for bags at all you should get those um, in with what you've spent so um yeah so for me stick carrier bag charge in room 101 so that's my five ladies and any gents who are watching um i hope you've enjoyed this bit of fun um as i say i'm sorry if i've offended anybody or or if anybody's took offense uh, there's no um intention there whatsoever it's just a bit of fun um but please go over and take a look at what julie loves and at Rianne Warlow and I will leave the links below and uh, let us know what you think about our first um, collaboration as um, a threesome, um, three of a kind and uh, uh, we will be, we've sort of got next month's topic, um, we've, we've talked about something so um, yeah we will uh, look forward to doing that if, if that's the one we're gonna do um so uh thank you for watching and as always if you like our content please subs subscribe the little please and off oh, flaming it if you want to subscribe please do uh, to all three of us give us an emoji give us a like um, comment down below set your notification buttons if, if you can um, and we will be ne back next month with as I say a different topic thank you for watching bye